Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you a unboxing and first look of the Tucson Knives TS312. This is a another uh, night morning uh, design. He is the premier uh, designer, in-house designer for Tucson. Have been uh, uh, with them since the start. So this one came uh, really nice. There, there was no oil uh, all around the knife, so uh, definitely this is the way to go. Uh, but let's talk about the specifications. So we have a overall length of uh, 20.3 centimeters or 8 inches. The handle length is 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches. Uh, the blade length is 11.6 centimeters. So sorry, the blade was 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches. The hand length is 11.6 uh, centimeters or 4.6 inches. The blade thickness is uh, 3.8 millimeters or 0 0.15 inches. The blade width is 3 centimeters or 1.18 inches. And the handle thickness is 1.5 uh, centimeters or 0 0.6 inches. Uh, materials on this knife we have uh, the blade steel is uh, 14C28N which is also marked on the blade with the Night Morning's uh, maker's mark the scales are made out of two-tone uh, micarta I would say uh, this could be classified as uh, a linen micarta because it's a really uh, has a really fine grain, but also could be paper micarta. Uh, so it is not specified. So uh, I could not be one hundred percent sure if it is uh, two tone canvas or paper micarta. We have skeletonized uh, stainless steel liners. Open back construction with uh, standoffs and also uh, pins. This is uh, really unusual to see why they went uh, with this uh, kind of interesting construction. Opening method, as you could see there, uh, is a flipper tab, but also you have these uh, orange plastic uh, thumb studs. So they uh, work fine, but if you don't uh, like them, you can probably uh, screw them out. And I don't know if uh, there probably there will be a hole there, but yeah, it is what it is. If you don't like the 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 orange color there, then you can just take them out. The pivot assembly is uh, KVT. Uh, Cage ball bearing, ceramic ball bearing uh, washers. Has a really nice action. We have a uh, satin uh, finish on the blade and looks like uh, a really nice uh, stone wash on the flat. I would definitely would love to, to have this blade completely stone washed. But uh, on the other hand, you have a 14C28. 28N, which is really nice, uh, has a nice corrosion resistance. You have really a really lar large accommodating choil, so you can really choke up on the blade for detailed workings. Yes, the blade has a false edge and this work clip design, which is really nice, and I really love that. Tucson will give you excellent, uh, excellent shapes of the, the blade on every knife. Uh, they try to uh, invent a little bit um, new uh, design flares to the to your standard uh, styles of the of the blade. So this is something, but maybe uh, the harpoon and and Warncliffe. Yeah, 
definitely definitely a, a big thumbs up from from me to them the well, the pivot screw has an interesting uh, pivot color right there which says Tucson knives Yang Liang uh, China they have put this one on a few designs uh, so far as I know definitely interesting the knife is using uh, the new uh, designed uh, deep carry pocket clip with so the rounded um, uh, screws so if one thing I would, uh, would recommend them then try to replace them with the flat screws that uh, uh, somebody like uh, CVV is using on the Elementum and other other knives they produce but that is just a minor uh, thing okay so uh, I forgot to mention liner of construction and now let's see the pocket profile so yes it has a deep carry pocket clip but uh, the mounting is not completely on the top so you will this is how much it will be sticking out of your pocket yeah the coloring definitely hides it nicely but then you have the that uh, stone washed and then polished uh, pocket clip that it will uh, tell that I guess uh, there is a knife in your pocket so uh, the weight the weight comes in uh, 116 grams or uh, 4.1 ounce let me show you the sharpness of the blade so out of the box really nice and sharp nothing has to be done to this blade it is how it is uh, it is really sharp from the from out of the box So really nice and unique uh, blade shape uh, from Tucson. Okay, now let's see a few size comparisons. So let me take out, uh, I don't know, let's start with the, with the CVV Elementum. And then the Kubi Aries. Pelican from QSP, which has a similar blade shape, but not that much similar. Then also a one clip from uh, Two Knives, Model Cebu. Kaiser Knives, uh, Big Lighter 2. Bonfire from Burke Plus, Ace Ground from Gen Mouse, Samurai from Max Ace, Bug Sprint Pro, TS187. TS 227 also from Tucson TS 111 which was probably the OG the, the one of the first one cliff designs that have and still no on my carta version you can see it's a little bit uh, larger highly recommended of course uh, really nice knife then I have here the Benchmade Large Reptilian, Kershaw Blur, nine forty from Benchmade, Red Model One. Spiderco Endura Spiderco Delica
Kershaw Leak. K. Bardozier Folding Hunter. Rusty Chen from CVV. Buck uh, Peanut. And, sorry, a Toothpick and Peanut from uh, Rough Rider. Okay, so this was the Tucson Knives TS-312, a really nice micarta uh, version, which in my opinion uh, should be in everybody's collection who is collecting Tucson Knives, that uh, is probably redundant to say. Uh, Price-wise, you are looking at around uh, $59.99, but uh, usually this knife is uh, sometimes on sale for around uh, $49.99, depending on where are you getting it from you can check out also whitemountainknives.com if you are from us uh, they have a wide variety of tusa knives on stock if you don't want to to wait uh, ordering them directly from aliexpress from china and of course uh, if you are looking to save uh, some money then i recommend uh, check out ebay um, the reseller there has a direct direct uh, channel to tucson and they will offer these uh, on an auction basis so if you would like to uh, try your luck bid on them then you can sometimes uh, buy them fairly cheap okay so if you have any questions uh, please leave comments down below i am more than happy to reply as soon as i can also if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you are not then please consider subscribing i try to listen to these three videos per week mostly knife and gear oriented but sometimes also other stuff uh, regarding my other hobbies, okay? So, uh, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.